All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm here once again with Greg Jayhawk, Michael Jensen, for week 37,000 of this uh, uh, 2022 season. Uh, actually, we are, all, we are all the way there to week 18, and uh, it's possible, actually, we go to week 19, and, and Michael talk to you about that a little bit later. Um, so um, uh, we'll talk about what happened last week. Again, I wasn't paying as much attention, but again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to recap everything. So we started this overall that all the way to week one. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think Michael wanted to do a preseason schedule review. You know, I don't. I, I think I turned him down on that one. You know, maybe we'll do that again next year. He's a freaking animal. He's he's just as the only person as as dedicated to this thing as I am. If you want to know the truth, my my, my favorite week is yeah. when the schedule comes out. That's yeah. my favorite time to look at it. Yeah. So uh, we've been we've been teaching along the way, lecturing along the way. Hopefully, teaching you guys how to be better along the way. And, starting to track our stuff along the way. I uh, took down or chopped a one week, week uh, I think 10 or something like that for like 45,000. Actually, I got it out, the Bitcoin out before it went down a little more, which is always good. Um, <laughs> and then I was out of my last pool a couple of weeks later. We've been tracking, uh, we've been tracking uh, Brave Jayhawks pool, which is, uh, I mean, he's all, he can talk more about it, but he's lock, apparently locked up some money already and they're playing for a decent chunk of change. So we got that going on. We tracked uh, a couple of really big pools across the industry that all went down uh, finally, except for Circa, which is now down to three. So we may as well talk a little bit about that. But before we get into that, uh, why don't you again uh, talk about your pool and uh, and and, uh, and what you did last week? If any, I presume nobody got knocked out, but why don't you tell me and uh, then we can go on to the next week. First, I can't believe we have four people left. Um, it seems like most other pools are finished. Um, 1,100 uh, entries to start. It was uh, a $250 buy-in, 10 entry max. Traditional single entry pick pool. If there's more than one person left at the, remain, uh, at the end of week 18, then it goes into the playoffs. If you did not take a team during the regular season, then you can take that team twice in the playoffs. Otherwise, you can only pick each team once. Um, we're down to four people, uh, no eliminations last week. We had one uh, in the week prior on the Christmas week. And uh, it, it is kind uh, of amazing. It is kind of amazing, right? So you started with how many, how many entries? 11, 11? Oh, 11, 15 or so. So you have, you have, you have Circo who started like 6,000 and they, they have three. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, yeah, they did have the extra week. Right. Yeah, so how did, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess so. But how do you have any, how do you, I don't know. I, you, you guys should be done, I think, but nonetheless. We, oh, we should, we should be done. The, the entries remaining, you, in order to make it through this season, you, you had, unless you took Pittsburgh two weeks ago, you had to have Minnesota, Tampa Bay or San Francisco and if you had those teams it just it just works its way backwards you you just had to you had to chur you had to go one of like two or three different paths to be able to land there real realistically speaking um because in week 16 everyone lost outside of Pittsburgh and then you know those other three teams that I mentioned so it, those are teams you had to quote you know save outside of like Tampa Bay um, you, you had to be, you know, you had to save Minnesota or you had to really San Francisco being there was incredible to have San Francisco in week 16. Um, and we and three people, three of the four left took new Orleans in week one. And I, and I brought this up several times. Uh, life would be a lot different if they lost week one, because I would have been out of everything after the yeah. first week. And <laughs> I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, participate with the level of enthusiasm as yeah. I had yeah. if I was yeah. out. Yeah. But three of the four entries took New Orleans in week one. And New Orleans was only, I don't know, three to 5% picked in my pool, yet there's 75% of the remaining entries. It, it really goes to show the importance of, of picks early on that will open up uh, your options later on in the season. So don't, so, so you guys, you guys chop for a certain amount. You're still playing for 200,000? Yeah, we chop for like 19 each or so, uh, playing for 200. Um, I was happy about one hour ago, and then now I'm unhappy because. Uh, well, let's uh, let's, let's yeah. talk about this now. First of all, before we get into this week again, um, you know, 
it, it's obviously it's very silly to like work so hard for 17 weeks and then screw up at the last minute, you know, so play, play, play good. Like in poker, play all the way down to the end. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't waste a year's worth of, of listen, for those of you that don't play survivor, it's kind of been trolling along or whatever. You don't know. I mean, how taxing it is, you know, on the brain. Uh, like it, it's, it's, it's so brutal to go through this for like a full four or five months or whatever it is that I'm telling you when you're out, when you're out, like you just need a freaking vacation. You know, it's true. And, and you know, it's yeah. you know what I would say. I, I would say this about uh, when I would coach my kids, to, you know, uh, in, in AAU basketball, if they came off the court at the end of the day and, and they like were not dead exhausted, then they played bad. You know what I mean? And like, same with poker. If you like came out of a 12, you know, a full day of poker tournament saying, Oh yeah, what's next? You probably played bad. <clears throat> now, and likewise, if you go through an entire survivor pool, and you don't feel any stress or, or or any 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 wear on you. You didn't use your brain enough, you know. So so it's all good, you know. When you come out of it, it knows you put put the max put the max effort into it. Um, what um so what do you got left? I mean, what what, what who, who's who's even favored this? Week? I mean, like, it's a, listen, there's a lot of variance. There's a lot of a lot of teams that won't be that, that the spread today might not even be close to what it is at game time, depending on what coaches decide. Like between now and then. But tell me, you said something about. Uh, you were happy till an hour ago. Tell tell me what's up. Tell me who the, the other guys have. Tell me what you're going to well, do. Well, I guess I should work backwards first as, yeah. as a little uh, learning yeah. instruction. Uh, last week, with we had four entries left. Um, we were the only ones on the Giants. So we had a very easy week. Uh, it it yeah. didn't really matter. We were, we're, we're taking slight the worst of it money line-wise, but we were guaranteed a, 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 a lone wolf pick, which is, you know, the point. At, 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 you know, we weren't dropping like, you know, five points or something. Right. Someone, somebody did make a mistake. Um, you and, and I've and I've mentioned this three or four times. Do you know lock in a pick if you're allowed to change it? Because in some pools you cannot, like circa, I think. Yeah, circa you can't. Um, but be open to change. And right. one of the guys in my pool, he picked Detroit, and the, the the line closed at minus three and a half, and Atlanta was sitting there at minus seven. And that's just completely, you know, that's, uh, that was very generous of him. Um, and uh, just don't, just do not make that mistake. Yeah. You, you, you need to keep an open mind. Listen, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't get rewarded for making your pick early. Okay. You just, Correct. And, and well, yeah, like don't run the risk of getting shut out of your internet goes down. You know what I mean? Obviously, but, 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 you know especially in week 18 when at any moment some coach can say oh yeah my dudes. and that's why i wanted to mention that first is that as things change but you know that's a, that's a huge mistake you know right. the argument is oh well you know i don't want to regret my decision you know switching right. last second well when it's clear and obvious there's a point where it's clear and obvious though that you would regret it if the team that you took lost and the other one won right because you know, they had a better and they had a much higher chance of winning Week 18, like you said, is the week you cannot do that. Things change so quickly. Yep. Uh, two, you know, two hours ago, I was thinking, oh, this could be great. You know, two people might take Jacksonville uh, this week. And now that's never going to happen. Um, Cleveland is uh, is sitting Justin Fields this week. So Minnesota's minus eight. Now. Oh, I didn't even and, see that. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, and, and again, I knew, you know, th I knew this could happen. Um, you know, you look at what I do for this late in the season is you look at all the teams where you, you have, you're the only one with them. Well, and then you start well, hoping, well, okay, say, how well, is this going to become say. a good pick? Well, I have and, to say, I have to say, hold on. So you got one, how many guys in your pool have Minnesota? Only one. I mean, I'll tell you something. There ain't no. no guarantee Minnesota plays their guys either. I, I just thought I'd let you know that. So he better no. be, you know, it's, that's the, that could be eight now. I'm telling you that Minnesota has very, the only way it matters for Minnesota is if somehow San Francisco loses to Arizona as a hundred point favorite, which they're never going to do. And, and so I, I would, I, that, that game could start at minus eight. I'm telling you, but like if they you see know, what's going no, on, I, I know, know it could change. And in, in, in Atlanta uh, two days ago was minus seven. And, you know, then they start announcing who's playing and who's not. And right now it's minus four. So, you know, th these <laughs> things change quite a bit, but, uh, the one thing I, I'm very aware of coaches is, you know, is, is bias. And, you know, I, I distinctly remember it was 2000 and uh, well, if I, if I say distinctly remember, I should remember the year, but there was a year that the chiefs made the playoffs, their chances of making the playoffs going to week 17 
might have been a thousand to one. They needed a five team parlay to hit. Oh, really? And one of them was Denver losing as a 14 point favorite, or something like that. And it hit. So um, th- they're going to try to win for sure because okay. San Francisco is going to play after them. I mean, there's, there's no, yeah, there's so. no, there's no way they can like, I mean, I, I agree they're not going to win, but well, the, other still like a, a, the other thing is still an 8% he, chance they lose. So. The other thing is if Minnesota wins, though, they're the two and they don't get to play the Giants. If they're the three, they get to play the Giants. They they probably don't even want to win. <laughs> okay, that okay. so that is a much – I didn't think of that. That's a much better argument. But my argument to that is one of my favorite uh, – I don't, I don't bet sports, uh, but I do very occasionally and have a very high win percentage. I look for, yeah. you know, like the, the Mayweather-McGregor fight, for example, right, when right. they give them away. But there was a, ga- a Jaguars game several years ago where if they, if they won in, in the uh, Week 17 – they were going to risk playing the Chargers in the playoffs if the Chargers beat the Raiders, and they're playing at the same time. But if they lost, they guaranteed themselves playing Tennessee again because that's who they were playing, and they would be six points better favorites. You've never seen a team try so hard to win. And I bet I came out of betting retirement, bet 3,000 on this game, and was living how, with how hard this team was trying to win. Yeah. Um. And they haven't been to playoffs since. That was that 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 year they they went to the AFC Championship game. But the the, the point is, you're right. Things change. Um. Be if you're still in, do not lock in a pick. Regardless, you know, put something in if you can change it. But you need to be open to changing. And obviously, start with the obvious. And the obvious for, for us was. Our pool is not a traditional pool in the sense that it, it continues on after this week, which it will. There's no way three people are getting knocked yeah. out this week. It's like it's almost impossible. Oh, um, almost is a rough word. <laughs> I said I said almost. It, it would require at this point three seven point favorites, best case scenario, losing. Okay. And again, or you know, or, it could be, or or it could mean just one if they all take the same run. No, no, it's just not going to happen. Oh, that's what I was going to get into. So we are one of only two people with Seattle. And, but the, but, but the exciting thing is the other person that has Seattle has Philadelphia and Wait, someone's got, no, someone has Philadelphia available. I know. I didn't incredible. Oh, my God. God. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. If uh, Tampa Bay had lost two weeks ago, that person would be out. And the person oh. that had San Francisco last would be out. That, that was not a Merry Christmas. Um, oh. But, but, uh, and, and we'd be heads up with the person who has Minnesota, but we would have chopped. I assume we would have chopped. Philadelphia against the, against the third street Giants as a 15 point favorite. That's amazing. Correct. That's amazing. So, because of that, there's no way he's going to save them for the playoffs. You, you don't even, no, I, I mean, there's no point anyway. I mean, they, 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 they wouldn't be that big of a favorite over Dallas or San Francisco anyway. So, he's taking because of that, we know we're going to be the only one with Seattle. Of course, we'll wake up and be surprised, but. We're the only one with Seattle. Our other options were Atlanta or Jacksonville. Um, Atlanta now not no longer an option, but at the time they were them and Jacksonville were both seven point favorites. The reason we were excited is because the other two people, their two viable picks were Jacksonville and in Atlanta. But then you know I guess they think Tampa Bay is going to try or something, or maybe it maybe Atlanta is not playing everybody. Maybe that's why the spread dropped, but. There's a good chance, and, and that's. And I was going to ask you this, and I asked my partner, and, and he, and he, I think he's Jesse said he would eat it. Let's just pretend that your options were. You knew someone was taking Philadelphia. You knew someone was taking Seattle. Your only option is Jacksonville minus six and a half, or you can drop to a four point favorite. Would you drop to the four point favorite, or would you take the six and a half, knowing the other person's probably taking it? Well, okay, so those are the two key words, right? Knowing and probably, right? So, 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 I mean, if you told me for sure that the guy was taking taking the the the, the Seattle, I would definitely drop. I mean, no, but, no, Jacksonville, Jacksonville. Yeah, but I would definitely drop. But the question is, how much, right? So, is it dropping from six to four? I'd have, and, and that, then, and then what, and then what your what your threshold? Just is. you could just actually, honestly, you could just run the the EV calculator. No, I know, I'm I'm mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a field I'm a field player. Um, no, but, but I'm just uh, saying. No, I know this the answer to the question is is is, yeah. is is a math question. I mean, that's you don't know the truth. But the other the problem is also is that like you you were never winning the pool outright because Philly's there, but you could win in the playoffs. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Correct. So you yeah. could win in the playoffs. Um, 
so and, and there's, the argue, the there's question, argument there that if you're going to play better than your opponents in the that's playoffs, true. that's like a poker. Then thing. you could eat some chalk, and that's true. why there's some feel to it. Because yeah, if there were true. twelve no, no, no. people, yeah, I'm telling you, there's twelve, fourteen yeah. people left. I'm eating tons of chalk because I will do something that people will not. I mean, let's just pretend the spreads in the playoffs weeks are like, let's just say they're like, uh, you know, eight, seven, six, three. Well, I might just take the three. And, and be guaranteed to be the only three point favorite, um, right. you know, on that team. And then I'd be, I'd be creating a, and the good part about doing that is a lot of the time when you take the lesser team to win and they win that their chances of losing in the next round are greater Wait. than the other team. Let me ask once you, you pick someone, you want them to lose. Let me ask you a question. The guy that has Philly available, who else does he yeah. have? Seattle. I, w- I wonder if – I mean, I honestly wonder if it's a better play to take Seattle for him. No. Okay. Be- because, because he uh, – in this format, if they were going to be the two seed, then there's an argument because you want them playing – well, you don't want them playing the, the Packers, but you would want them playing the Giants in the first round or, like, Detroit or Seattle because then they're a big favorite. And the reason that's important is let's just say you had the two seed twice for the playoffs and they happen to be the largest favorite in the first round. You can take them as a chalk pick, but if that team ends up going to the Super Bowl, you're the only one that either either still alive or not boxed out because you can take that team again. Some people couldn't take them because they risk if you take that team now, if they keep winning, you automatically lose. Because you can only use them one time, right? It's 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 like the NCAA, uh, you know, ba- basketball yeah. survivor pool yeah, in, in, yeah. In, a, in a smaller format. Yeah. Um. So we're we're, we're taking uh, we're going to hope someone takes. Well, we're going to hope that things change up and somehow two people are in Jacksonville and and uh, and that game's on Saturday night, and uh, you know we're uh, there's no really advantages. I don't think the only possible advantage someone has one person has not used the Chargers, so. I, I don't know exactly where their placing is for the playoffs potentially, but if, if I, I don't know if they, if they can play the Titans in the first round, then, you know, they could, they could take them against the Titans. And then, you know, then if they, if the, if the Chargers were to go to the Super Bowl, then they wouldn't be boxed out because they can pick them again. But other than that, there's no advantages. So um, we'll try to deal again. Or when we look at the spreads, you might say, fuck it. We think we have a path that if we feel that the other three people would, would take the same exact path, we might deviate a little bit, create a different path, and then take the pot odds and then just go for it. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, all right. Who do you think uh, people are going to take here in the, uh, in the, in the circuit? It's great for the person with Minnesota here. I, I, like, I mean, that great news for them an hour ago. That's that's not even a question. Yeah. Um, they're a hundred percent taking Minnesota. And then from the other two players' perspectives, you look at your opponent and like, okay, well, enemy within is definitely taking Minnesota. And then you look to see if you have a pick that the other opponent doesn't have, and you just try to find one first that you can't double up on. You just well, who's not... who's favorite here? So Atlanta, you said, right? Atlanta's four. So the Brown is, Brown is can take Atlanta and Brown is definitely not taking enemy within is definitely not taking Atlanta. So Brown's going to take Atlanta. Well, he could, he could take Atlanta. Oh, as who a else? Wolf Hold on. Is Carolina favored? No. Chicago? No. Is Detroit, Detroit favored no. by anybody? Over no. Char- Chargers. Jacksonville. No. Okay. They can all take Jacksonville. Yeah. So, so okay. Th- no, there's the answer. It's Seattle. So Jed is going to take Seattle and then Brown, and then Brown is going to take wants. Jacksonville. And Brown he also. just takes who he just takes whoever he wants because Seattle, uh, Jed has to take Seattle. Right, but isn't Jacksonville could, the biggest favorite of who's left or no? Um, yes, but things could change. You know, if it right. gets to like you know, if if, if it becomes the, the the key is that Jed has to take Seattle because right. he he guarantees himself. Yeah, being on you know, so 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 uh, wait so enemy has Minnesota, Jed has Seattle, and Brown. Uh, could choose and he's well he can't wait forever because he's got to get his pick in by saturday right oh yeah yeah of course of course so so we have atlanta jacksonville 
And you know what's un you know what's unfair is they really Washington? should make they, they really should make you pick by Friday this week because yeah. I mean you're who not plays, even wait, know wait, who, plays sure who, plays who plays Saturday who plays Saturday Jackson Jacksonville plays Saturday. Oh. I mean, that's that sucks that, you know, the other two p- people don't know if they're taking a team with three people left. Yeah, but, nice but no, hold on. But Brown, Brown uh, probably should take Jacksonville because Correct. Yeah. he'll have max information on that game, at least. You know what I mean? At least on that yes. game, he'll have max information. That's great. Oh, it's fantastic for him because he has a full, he has a full half day. And yeah, not only that, but he... No, he, almost a full day. But not only that, but he could, he could take his Jacksonville, right? And then if he wins, then he could do money. some money business. You know what I mean? Like on Sunday. No, he, yeah, he, he can money. Uh, I mean, he, he can money line parlay both the other Whatever. picks because he's going to know what the picks are that night. Yeah. Whatever it is. So that seems to be the end of Circa, right? Uh, if it's anything mm-hmm. but that, I'll be very surprised. Well, I shouldn't say that. Like Browner could put off, you know, Jacksonville. But the other two are Yeah, down. you're right. He really can. The, the, the key is how low would he drop to take Jacksonville with that information? Because with that much right. money, you need – you know, it's nice to have – But what's Jacksonville favored by right now? Seven, you said? Six and a half. Is there anybody even close to that on Sunday that he could play? Um, I, I mean, you just never know. I mean, what if, what if they announced uh, – well, That he'll that, know about on Saturday. You know what I mean? Like, like Carolina's playing like their four-string quarterback. They announced that, you know, Saturday afternoon. I mean, you, you just right. – you know, because somebody ha- uh Jed has New Orleans too. Um I mean really you can look I'm, I'm going to tell you what's I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. I'm just telling you this is this is what it's go it's going to come to pass. And I'm not betting score, I'm not betting the game, but the 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 enemy within is going to be rooting for some Minnesota backups at some point. I'm telling you. I just know it's going to happen. Um I just hope for his not I hope for his sake but these picks, his, these picks are going to get locked Saturday evening. You're going to see Kirk Cousins downgraded to questionable game time decision. Yeah. Dalvin Cook questionable game time decision. Jefferson questionable game time decision. Yeah. By the time the game starts, they will all be out. Um, let me t- let me tell you one story before I forget it. It's very extremely relevant in multiple ways. The the pool that I'm in right now. The, so with the deal, we've won it three times in. Yeah. 10 years pretty i mean really pretty incredible um pat on, pat on my back it's it's, it's right. I, I, pr- pretty amazing so uh, it was fun to you know lock up that technical uh co-champion uh, yeah, win yeah, yeah, yeah. i've have i have another friend that's won it with us and i have another friend that took a terrible bad beat to lose there were uh there's one of the years there weren't there were not a lot of upsets and there were like i don't know pick a number 12 14 16 people left going into the last week he had not used pittsburgh and new england or something the entire year and he was the only one in this case so he could use them both for the playoffs so his plan was to go like pittsburgh pittsburgh new england new england or something you know something like that whatever it was it made perfect sense whatever it was he was going to do he 100 percent would have won and he would have chopped it like three or four ways, assuming they didn't make a deal. There was one problem, though. And the one problem was that he took Washington in week 17. And the reason it was quite unfortunate is because the New York football giants were locked into the five or six seed. They could not go up. They could not go down. Washington was a 11-point favorite or so. And for some unknown reason, that coach of yours thought it'd be really, really cool to go 11 and five. He <laughs> mar- Not only did he march his starters out there, he played them the whole entire game and they won. That's great. And they knocked Washington out of the playoffs. And it was even <laughs> worse than that because Dude. by by beating Washington, it opened up a scenario where you they almost – they could have allowed – the Packers, I think it was, to get into the playoffs, a better team than Washington that they could have eventually somehow ran into and lost because he thought it would be cool to go 11-5. and five. And that was so unfortunate for that to happen. That never – that was quite a bad beat. I mean, that, that was that was crushing. This is, this I think is, this is, listen, this crushing. is what I tried to tell you when, like, Philadelphia was playing Dallas that day or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. They, these teams always try to kill each other. 
these NFC East teams, it doesn't matter. I understand. I understand, but there's a difference between trying to win and putting yourself in a situation where what if Eli Manning broke his Oh, leg? they don't the, – the, this is what I'm trying to tell you. They don't care. Like, they're so ridiculously, like, stupid that they would – I'm telling you, in, in, like, in, in a weird way, they would rather get the win over a freaking Eagle, – or the Eagles, finally, and lose like Manning for the playoffs. It's like it, they're, they're I, just I, not smart. That's a, I that's was absolutely smart. dumbfounded. It, it, it still comes up whenever I, it's it's got to kill him because my my, uh, my my friend plays in my, my my poker game and everyone's always asking me about my pool and I know every other time he's got to be thinking about that time he got he got screwed. I guess it was six years ago as last time the Giants made the playoffs. Yeah, twenty sixteen. Uh, it's it's oh it's got to irk him. I mean, and he would have won too. I mean, he had the the absolute he had the nut run out. And and uh, because he, he was smart, he 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 saw that there's so many people left. He needed to have those double picks in the playoffs, and you know they're not as valuable with three or four people left. But when you have like 12, 14 people left, there's only so many picks going to be uh, that are going to be made. And, and the way to win it is to be able to take the best team twice. And he set himself up perfect for it. It just didn't work out. So we're gonna we're just gonna hope Seattle wins. And if Seattle wins, then that's that, that's fantastic. Any, anything else will be a bonus. I assume we'll – I mean, we're open to, to chop up whatever. But if not, you know, we'll uh, – you know, I guess we'll just have another video next week on, so, on yeah, strategy so this, for the, playoffs. So this is the schedule, by the way, okay? So so regardless of, of, let's say, his pool ends this week, let's say it ends next week, whatever the week after his pool ends, we are going to do kind of a wrap-up video, um, just, you know, when, whenever whenever that is. But just a just a note, uh, I, I'm uh, I'm going away, and I would do it from where I am, but I'm going to be actually traveling uh, on Wednesday. So okay. so we could if we could do it. Uh, excuse me, wait. Wednesday will not be traveling. Wednesday I'll be back. So so we could we could do it Wednesday. It will be on my birthday actually. So um, yeah. So we, uh, we will do it on on Wednesday. Um, so let's not. I'll, I'll you, not I, I don't want to get into the the, the game on Monday, but I'll, I'll ask you this. How about this? I just want you to predict, and this is like totally impossible, but what do you think the NFL is going to do about the Bill Cincinnati game? Not what you think they should do, not what you think is right, not what you think is whatever, not whether his freaking injury was caused by the vaccine. I, you know, I don't want to hear any of this. You know, All I want to know is what do you think the NFL is actually going to do about that game relative to the playoffs and anything like that? Do you have any idea? And if not, just make something up because I'll, I'll come up with something. I think they're going to give. I I really think they're going to give the Bills the loss. I really, I, I you know, I you're going to give I, the I Bills the wait, wait, wait. They're going to give them the loss. Loss from that game. Make them for, they're going to ask. They're going to ask them to forfeit. They're going to ask them to forfeit. Okay. Because they were losing, and the reason I, I think wait, wait, but wasn't it seven seven? I thought it was seven zero. Wait, go check that. Um, was it seven three or seven zero? Oh, I thought it was seven seven. You could be right. It was seven three. Seven three. Okay, you're gonna think they can give their uh, give Bill. Uh, no, are they gonna, you are they gonna ask them to give them the loss, or are they just gonna give them the loss? Um, I think they're gonna ask him first because I, I was up. I was at Jesse's house yesterday. We we're talking about all the DraftKings stuff and and and. and and he was at, we we're at, we we're talking about our opinions on how they should handle some of these contests, like fantasy football finals. Uh, the be best careful, be, be drafting. careful. Don't give, don't give your opinion on what anybody should have done. It's going to be, oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, get buried. No, I'm, oh, what you said. Let's, let's stick to what you think the NFL is going to do. Believe no, me, I, I think they're no, because I, I think the answer lies in you have to work backwards okay. on what is the most fair or the least unfair to somebody. And I think they're going, I think it's going to end in a forfeit. Because there could be strong implications for for Baltimore on that game um, if they beat Cincinnati this week. What I what I think. Uh, see now, I'm, I'm going to talk through this. I'm going to give my opinions on a couple of things. I'm I'm, I'm pretty good. Like, I'm probably better than you are. Give you my opinions without 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 opening myself to getting canceled too much. So, um, what what, I, what I'm going to say is this. So, you know, I, I thought about ideas of of you know giving them each a tie or something like that or call it a no contest or something like that 
And when you run into, in a situation like that, our possibilities where, say, Kansas City ends up 14 and three, and Buffalo ends up 13 and three, and Buffalo had beaten Kansas City in Kansas City, and they they will have cost themselves a one seed by taking the, the tie as opposed to, to have play, having a chance to play for the win. And when I first said, oh, who cares? What's the big deal? It's just one game at home or whatever it is. It's not as simple as that because forget about competition. The, I don't care about the NFL, whatever it is. It's 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 whole it's revenue to a city to be able to play at home. It's it's, it's it's a it's a big deal. And listen, it's 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 and that's 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 a big part of it. And it is big money. And and and, and the fans want to go play. The fans want to go see. And 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 uh, it's you can't just you can't just do that. So I, I was thinking about what they could possibly do. And then I thought of the idea of maybe they just say, well, let's just see what happens. You know what I mean? Let's just, they're not going to play this week. And let's just see what, let's see if, what, if it makes a difference, you know? And then they say, we'll make a decision after the week. And then let people speculate. Well, what does that mean? What does it mean? How are you going to possibly do that? And just have no comment. Just say, well, we'll, fig- we'll figure it out. For now, the Buffalo game was canceled. We're still figuring out what to do with the resolution of it. Let's just see if it makes a difference. Now, that's going to be totally tilting, right? <laughs> to like whatever. But Maybe it doesn't make a difference. You know, I don't know. Um, Here's why I'm here. Can I, can I jump in? Yeah. Here's why I'm okay with them doing that. I'm okay with them canceling it or postponing it and waiting to see what happens. Because what they did that day was so egregious with the scheduling for week 18 itself that I, I think they can do whatever they want. I mean, they completely rigged the system so that Green Bay's chances of making the playoffs are greater by having Seattle play first, uh, which is a great advantage for Green Bay. Oh, you mean, you mean rig- I thought you meant rig- what the Monday night. Oh, you mean rigging the system because of the way they scheduled the, the, the Sunday game. Correct. And if they're, if they're going to blatantly uh, – it's, it's, it's cheating. They're going to blatantly cheat a, a team out of, out of playoff equity by – having Seattle play first where Seattle wins, Detroit is eliminated from the playoff race, increase, uh-huh. therefore increasing Green Bay's chances of, of beating Detroit because they have nothing left to play for, then they can do whatever they want in this other scenario because the, the, integ- the integrity of the, of the system is, is broken at that point. So I'm actually completely okay with them doing this after they show that they really don't care about making it fair because – you know, in the end, there's really no good way to do it right now anyway. So I think it's okay to wait to see what I, I happens. Thought about, I thought about the, the possibility of just pushing the whole thing back a week. So, Zero. So you have – no, no, no. Hold on a minute. So I'm just, I, this, is, I, so this is what I was talking out, right? So they have a yeah. week in between the championship game and the Super Bowl. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm just talking through it, right? That's true. And, yeah. and, and then – so if instead you just – Push everything back a week. Make the Buffalo Cincinnati game a one game island game, if it matters, right? On on this on the Sunday of next week. The only and it would be such an incredible like NFL PR move, right? To have you have you know how many freaking honorariums and 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 and, and prayers and all the stuff that the guy probably deserves, whatever it is. I don't want to get into that, but but but. It, it would be a, it would be good PR. They would they would identify Buffalo and Cincinnati as as you know as as whatever and push everything back a week. And the all the other teams I think would like it because everybody gets an everybody gets oh, an yeah. week of yeah, rest. Yeah. Um, nobody can, gives a crap about having that off week in the freaking before the Super Bowl anyway. So right. so I don't know if that was ever brought up or whatever it is. Um, you tell me why that's that's terrible. That was a fantastic idea. Oh, I, I I think that's I think it's fantastic because you cannot move the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl cannot no. be moved. There's there's no. too much money. There's too much business. There's th- th- no. that can't be done. The logistics. No, no, no. But you have that. But, that's my but, point. The, but, all, but right, all, all, all the other games can because they don't know if they're happening. Yet. Right. So I, I agree with that. The only way it would work out is if the game matters to both teams. I I, no. I it would have it it'd have to it would, both teams would have to be kept honest about the result of the game. Otherwise it's a waste. Yeah. So that's, 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 that's a great, that's a, that's a great idea. You put, you put, you put me as the NFL 
CEO or not the NFL CEO, like almost like the NFL spin doctors or, or you know what I mean? Like what, what's just going to look the best, I guess. And, and I don't know who exactly would have a problem with that. You know what I mean? Like, like that, that's the only, I don't see who would, I'm sure there are. I'm sure like if I, if I tweet about this, they'll be like, everybody murder me for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, can't can't even imagine yeah. why, but, but I'm, who exactly would object to that? You know, like everybody gets extra weeks of rest, which everybody can appreciate. Right. And we get all the games done and the Super Bowl is played on time and, and, yeah. and nobody has to wait two weeks for the Super Bowl, which nobody yeah, wants that, to do that, anyway. That, that, that would be really nice. I, <laughs> this, I, uh, I like that. All right. Uh, maybe the Pro Bowl has to suffer. Who cares? Well, they could they could play the game on a neutral field uh, in, in Las Vegas alongside the Pro Bowl on the, on the other go. deck. <laughs> All right. Uh, that'll do it. Uh, good luck, everybody. Good luck, Seattle. I'll see you later. Nice. See you later. Bye. Bye.